Hello my friends. I'm going to share with you today how I built the molding for around the dome. I wanted to create a molding that would make a nice transition between the dome opening and the flat ceiling. Also I wanted to be able to hide recessed lighting uh, inside the dome that you would not be able to see from the floor view. The molding will consist of six different individual pieces of casing. Most of the casing is stocked items that you can obtain from a builder supply. Some of the casing I manufactured myself. You're going to be handling long strips of casing and it would be good to have a second set of hands to help you bend the arc inside the dome. The first piece of casing that's being installed is the widest one. This is uh, three inches wide and it's either a door casing or a baseboard casing. Uh, either one would work fine. I'm having this casing drop below the ceiling level by one inch. This is so that I can attach a quarter round on the exterior part I found that wood works the best for any of these pieces of casing. Uh, from experience using the plastic, uh, when you're bending the plastic, driving a nail through that causes the plastic a lot of times to snap right at the nail hole. Um, also, after the plastic is up, it doesn't uh, form permanently like the wood will form. The plastic with time uh, may also form cracking. On the interior I'm going to build a shelf that will hide my recessed lighting. I want this to extend out about an inch to the interior of the dome. So I'm going to take wooden strips. Uh, I'm going to use two half inch strips and one on top of the other and bend around the interior of the dome, uh, stepping up about an inch in height from the bottom edge. Next I cut a cap that's going to extend above the shelf by about an inch. This will hide my lighting. The strips that I cut I pre-bent to uh, take stress out of them and I used my form that I glued up the circular uh, wooden form for the dome. I let these uh, set clamped overnight and then uh, applied them inside the dome and I had no breakage. Here you can see the casing glued up in individual pieces and I'm using all these spring clamps to hold that last cap on and the last thing I need to do is finish caulking all the seams and then paint and that should take care of the trim. Here is a picture of the interior molding showing you how I stepped inward and had the upper uh, ridge cap that hides the recessed lighting. I used the ribbon lighting that's LED and these are only about a half inch wide so there was plenty of room to hide all the lighting behind that uh, ridge that's in there. Here is the individual casings glued up forming the molding ready to be painted and finished with the lighting. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.